Okay, so let's have a look at the 2021 Higher Level Leaving Cert Maths Paper 2, question 7. The diagram triangle ABC shows this three sections of a level triathlon course. In order to complete the triathlon, each contestant must swim four kilometers from C to B. So let's just put that in. So they must swim four kilometers from C to B, cycle from B to A, and then run 28 kilometers from A to C. So this is going to be 28 kilometers here. Mary can cycle at an average speed of 25 kilometers per hour. It takes one hour, 12 minutes to cycle from B to A. So we can mark out that distance as well. Show that the total length of the course is 62 kilometers. So all you gotta do is work out uh, this distance here and then just add them up. So from B to A, we have the speed and we have the time, so we can work out the distance. So let's work on that. So we have, we know that speed is equal to distance over time. So that means the distance is just gonna be equal to speed times time. Now the speed is 25 kilometers per hour and the time is one hour 12 minutes so you can just convert that to a decimal so one hour 12 minutes you can use the degrees and minutes button here so one degree 12 minutes and zero seconds if you press equals here you get one you can count this as hours minutes and seconds here and if we change that we get six over five or 1.2 1.2 hours. Uh, let's see, we have the speed is uh, 25 and then we have 1.2 here, 1.2 hours. Now, by the way, just to convert that manually, what you would do is just take the 12 minutes, take the 12 minutes, convert that to hours, divide by 60, and that'll give you uh, 0 0.2. So it's 1.2 uh, hours in total. So just multiply those two together anyway, and you should get uh, 30, 30 kilometers. So the distance along here then is 30 kilometers. Now what we were asked, we were asked for the total length here. So the total length then is just total length is just going to be 28 plus 4 plus 30 kilometers. That's a total length of 62 kilometers. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, next part of the question. On average, Mary can run 5.6 times as fast as she can swim. It takes her 4.8 hours to complete the course. Find her average swimming speed in kilometers per hour. So let's just write down an equation here. There are a few ways of doing this, but uh, let's do it this way. Um, we know that she can run, or we're told at least, that she can run 5.6 times her swimming speed. Uh, that's equal to her run speed. What we can do here is look at uh, the times first of all. So we know the uh, time that it takes to go from B to A. We don't know the time that she takes to go from C to B or A to C. So what I'm going to do here is just let T equal the time that it takes her to do the run. So. So t is equal to time that it takes her to do the run. So let's just write out this equation again then. So we have 5.6. We gotta look at her swim speed, the swim speed. Speed is distance over time. So the distance for the uh, swim is four kilometers. So the time that it takes her to do the swim is gonna be the, f the total time, which is uh, 4.8. We're gonna subtract the time it takes her to do the cycle, which is 1.2 hours. So we're going to subtract 1.2 and we're going to subtract the run speed as well, which is T. The run speed again is the distance over time. So uh, she had to run 28 kilometers. So that's going to be 28. And we've got to divide that by the run time here, which is T. 
So this is our equation here again. All we've got to do here is solve for t. So let's see, we've got um, 4 times 4 times 5.6. So that's 22.4. Uh, we've got to divide that by 4.8 minus 1.2. So that's 3.6. 3.6 minus t. That's equal to 28 over t. So again, here we've got a fraction equal to a fraction here. We can just cross multiply here. So that's 22.4t is equal to 28 times 3.6, which is 100.8, 100.8 uh, minus 28t. So let's see, that will give me 50.4t here is equal to 100.8. And that'll finally give me a time here of 100.8 divided by 50.4, which is two hours. So remember, that's her run time, the time it takes to do the run. The question that we were actually asked here is find the average swimming speed in kilometers per hour. Well, her swimming speed, her swimming speed, remember, is just this here. So that I'll just do that up here. Speed is equal to distance over time again. So the distance for the swim was uh, four. And the time then is going to be uh, 4.8 minus 1.2. So it's 4.8 minus 1.2 minus 2, which is uh, 1.6. So it's divided by 1.6 here. So the swim speed then is going to be 2.5 kilometers per hour. 2.5 kilometers per, per hour. So that's the answer to this particular question. Find the average swimming speed in kilometers per hour. Okay, so let's have a look at part C then. Show that the angle ABC is 116 degrees, 116.5 degrees correct to one decimal place. So what we have currently is our triangle. Just draw it here. We've got A, B, C, we've got 28 kilometers here, we've got 4 kilometers here, and we have 30 kilometers here, and we've got to work out this angle here. So you should spot here that we have three sides of a non right angle triangle, so we can use uh, the cosine rule here. Okay, so the cosine rule is if, we, if we're looking for this particular angle here, we need to start with this side over here. So we're going to start with 30 squared is equal to the other two sides squared. So that's 28 squared plus 4 squared minus twice the two sides, uh, 28 times 4 times the cos of the angle. We'll just call it C here, cos of the angle C. So let's see, we have 900 here. Uh, we have 28 squared plus 4 squared. So let's see, 28 times 28 plus 16, that gives me 800. And we've got to multiply those three, let's see, 2 times 28 times 4, it's 224, cos C. So if we subtract these two here, we get 100, and then divide by 224. So it's minus 100 over 224, is equal to cos C. You can simplify that, but let's just do uh, C then is going to be equal to cos inverse of minus 100 over 224. That will give us C is equal to, C here is equal to 116.5 degrees uh, to one decimal place. I think that's probably what we were asked for, correct, one decimal place, yes, 116.5. Okay, let's have a look at D then. To comply with safety regulations, the region inside the triangle, of course, must be kept clear of people. Find the area of this region. Okay, so these are all very straightforward questions. There's just It's just basic maths, but basic formulae kind of stuff, but um, just a little story around it. So what we've got to do here is just use um, half a b sine c here to find the area. So the area is 
going to be half a b sine c this is the formula i'm going to use now again this is in your maths tables so it's half times now remember when you're doing this here you've got to uh, use we're going to use this angle here which we know is 100 116.5 degrees uh, you've got to use the two sides that are enclosing that angle so we've got to use 28 and 4 so it's going to be half times 28 times 4 times sine 116.5 so just stick that into your calculator and you should get 50.1 and that's uh, area so it's going to be kilometers squared and that's to one decimal place okay so let's have a look at part e find the shortest distance from the point c to the side a b give your answer in kilometers correct to one decimal place okay so again if we just have a look at um, the triangle so the triangle looks something like this so we've got a here we've got b here we've got c here and we've got to find this distance down here now we know this is 30 kilometers along here we know that this is 28 kilometers and we know that this is four kilometers here so a couple of ways of doing this you can use uh, oh by the way we know this angle here as well as 116.5 you can use what we've done earlier we found the area of this entire triangle or you can use the sine rule let me see we can let's use this simpler way first anyway the area is equal to half the base times the height so we know that the area is 50 Point one, so it's going to be half times the base which is 30 times the height which is what we're looking for and once you work that out double that you get a hundred point two is equal to 30 h and then h is equal to 3.3 uh, .3 kilometers now the other way of doing that would be just to use the sine rule you can take let's say the sine of b divided by 28 equals the sine of 116.5 over 30 uh, cross multiply here so you get um, let's see 30 sine b is equal to 28 sine 116.5 sine b is equal to 28 sine 116.5 divided by 30 that'll give you sine b sine b is equal to uh, 0 0.835272708 oh, so that would give me an angle B then just do the sine inverse of that and that gives you that gives you B is equal to 56.644 let's say we'll just do three three decimal places now why did I do that so I have this angle here which is 56.644 degrees what I can do now is just take the sine of that angle so I can take um, the sine of 56.644 that's equal to h over 4 that will finally give me h is equal to 4 times sine 56.644 or just give me h then is equal to 3.3 kilometers to one decimal place now that's a much longer way of doing it this is the, the much easier way of doing it here over here much uh, much more straightforward but this is another way you could do it okay so look that's uh, that one let's have a look at F then okay so we have the course here and it's viewed from a camera tower which rises vertically from the point A so this is our tower here the top of the tower is point T the angle of elevation from T to B is 0 0.05 so in other words if we take if we take a point from here down to here 
this angle here would be 0 0.05 degrees. So really it's just this triangle here that we're going to be looking at in this question, I think. So find a t. So we've got to find the distance from here to here. Give your answer to the nearest meter. Now from a to b, from a to b we know is 30 kilometers. So we know that this is 30 kilometers along here. So really this is a, again a very basic question. We're just going to use tan here, okay? So we're going to take the tan of 0 0.05 degrees. That's going to be equal to the distance from A to T divided by 30. So the distance from A to T then is going to be 30 times, 30 times the tan of 0 0.05 degrees. So let's just multiply that out. So we get A T, the distance from A to T is 0 0.026179945453 and so on. Now that's uh, in kilometers. So I presume they want it in, yes, they want it in meters here to the nearest meter. So we got to multiply that by a thousand. So the distance from A to T again is multiply by a thousand, you get 26 point well, it actually says to the nearest meter, doesn't it? Yeah, to the nearest meter. So it's just 26 meters, and that's to the nearest to the nearest meter. Okay, and that's it for this particular question.